Super Tramp and give a little bit here on BBC Radio Gloucestershire. James Thomas here live at the University of Gloucestershire. We're just coming live from this event that's being recorded for BBC Introducing. I'm very uh, pleased to say that I'm being joined by Colin Greenwood of Radiohead. Good afternoon to you, Colin. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Yourself? Yeah, great, yeah. Spring is here. <laughs> good, good. So you've come down from, from Oxford today to this event here yes. uh, in the University of Gloucestershire. And you're giving us a talk right. later. Just give us a flavour of what you're going to be talking about. Well, I'm, I'm just here, really, if anyone wants to ask me any questions about um, starting up, making music, recording, playing in a band, anything that, you know, any help, tips, pointers I can give from, from personal experience of being Radiohead, grateful to do. From, from your experience of doing events like this in the past, obviously people sometimes swamp you for, for questions. What are the things that young musicians tend to want to know? Okay, so I haven't done anything like this in the past before, really. And then in terms of... So I wouldn't know what musicians... But I presume they would be the same kind of things that I'd wanted to know when I was uh, 17, 18, 19 years old, when we started out. So, uh, obviously, you have a massive experience of, of performing, but this is something slightly different, having to get up and, and speak in front of students who, who look up to you. Is it a daunting thing for you? Only when you phrase it like that, you're trying to terrify. So I've made it sound worse now, haven't I? That's right. I'm doing butterflies in my tummy now. No, it's fine. I think it's. Uh, I think it's just important to, um, you know, to be enthusiastic, excited, and curious, and um, you know, like anything else in life, to share what you love with people that you you like, and you know, organise your time and um, and ha and. And, you know, just, just get out there, really, whatever it is, whether it's music, photography, um, writing, what, whatever, you, whatever you're into. Do you think it's harder now, a days, for bands to get into the music industry than it was when you were starting out, or do you think it's really the same? I think um, it was... I mean, it, I don't think it was that easy when we were trying to get a deal, um, you know. So I don't... I think it just comes down to, you know, determination and good music and, and luck which is like what happens if you have the first two. Of course. And when you were starting out, of course, there wasn't anything like BBC introducing to help you yeah, along. Right. What sort of things did you have to help you? Was it literally, you know, off you go, try and do it yourself? It was that, but it was also like a local music network in Oxford, which was a um, couple of really great gigs in Oxford and um, a couple of really good promoters as well. And also other, other bands as well. I think, you know, looking back, we were really lucky to have been brought up or to have started our music at the time. People like um, Swerve Driver and Ride and Supergrass and 530 and Candy Skins and, um, you know, all these fantastic bands who came out of Oxford, um, which just showed us that you could do it, you know, if you, if you wanted to do it bad enough. Any, anybody that you've spotted recently that you think is, are going to be stars of the future? Right now, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's tricky because there's so much music out there, it's hard to like get through it all and um, you know, and I still like listening to stuff like James Brown and uh, you know, Soul and stuff like that. Um, so on the spot, it's it's like that's one of those questions. It's like, what's your favourite music? It's like it's like a deathless question, isn't it? But I know for, that there is so much brilliant stuff out there that it's like you, just because technology and times change doesn't mean that talent doesn't exist anymore. So there's like loads of great stuff, and there can be great stuff that you. The, what, it's the unexpected things that are often the best. Like when I promoted this uh, independent music venue night at the Jericho Tavern in Oxford about three weeks ago, the first act on artist on guy called. Um, Charlie Cunningham, um, just acoustic guitar and voice, and it was fantastic. And uh, and it was he's my favourite um, performance of the evening. Great. Well, Colin, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your talk this afternoon. I hope I haven't made you too nervous about it. I'll be fine. I'll take the beta blockers. I'll be fine. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much for that. Enjoy. Right. That's Colin Greenwood there from Radiohead here on BBC Radio Gloucestershire. We're off to another farm in a bit. Uh, let's have another track, though, first.